guys, I am today today, and today we're going to be reacting to Her Song Can't Stop Growing at Night. Like me, because I'm 6'2", and I wonder how tall the woman's son is. I think he's taller than me, so I want to see why. So without further ado, let's get into it. Three, two, one, play. Hello, Lux Army. Let's Hello. get 100,000 likes for more new episodes. All right. So for this episode, we received an email from a woman named Candace, a 53-year-old mother 53. who believes there's something horribly wrong with her son. Candace says her son what? doesn't talk to her anymore, and it seems like he cannot stop growing to the point where he can barely fit in his clothes. Whoa. She says he's been pulling out his hair and won't let her see his face. She sent us this video for proof. Worry. Tommy, I brought you Whoa! <laughs> So tonight we've decided to head out to her house and see what's happening with her son when she's not watching him. Let's go. Er So what do you think is going on with this lady's son? I really don't understand the problem. Okay, so from what she said in the email, her son's been growing super fast for some reason and acting really creepy towards her. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. How do we know he's not just hitting a growth spurt or something? Yeah. I don't think this lady would contact us if he was just having a normal growth spurt. Dude, if this woman's having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. Let's just get there and see what we're dealing with, okay? Okay, fine. I, uh, I have a growth spurt. Like, I'm... Like I said earlier, I'm 6'2". I wonder where this is at. I don't think it's in Ohio. I think it's somewhere else. Wait, right here, right here. This is it, bro. Okay. Something seems really wrong here, dude. The windows are all dark. No, it's so big. These people. This could just be like a waste of time. Well, at the very least, let's just go in and get <coughs> Candace and try to talk to her son, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, knock on the door. Um, oh, where is this? Sir? Hi, Candace, right? Yeah. Hi, uh, you emailed us about your son? We told you we were coming tonight? Okay. Uh, we can... Come in, right? Right? Okay. Dude, it seems like she didn't know we were coming. Candace, is your son home right now? Uh, okay, uh, let's just... Obviously, at this... I wonder what time it is, so... It's probably late, so it would probably make sense why he's resting right now. I mean, right now it's 12 o'clock in, in the morning. Uh, can you give us more details about what's going on with your son? Yeah. My son. It's my fault. I should have done something sooner. Uh, uh, so you told us in the email you sent us that, you know, he's been acting really strange. Can you go into that more? He's, he's still my boy. He just doesn't talk to me anymore. I mean, I can see you're very concerned about him, which is yeah. you know, a good thing, but when did all this start happening? Yeah. After Michael passed. Michael was your husband. Oh, oh he, wow. He was the father? Tommy ran into the woods. He was gone for about three days. I almost called the police, but eventually one night he came back into this room through his window. A window? The window? Why didn't he come through the front door? That's why I said. He just completely shut down. And now he wears this strange mask. It's just like he's not like Tommy anymore. Well, you mentioned that his father passed away. Are you sure this isn't like some type of grieving? No, this isn't grieving. It's physical too. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? It's just those bones. They don't fit into the skin anymore. Oh! That's gonna hurt like hell! He's gonna okay, stretch himself to uh, death. Is it okay if Chester and I uh, go talk to Tommy now? 
Yeah, but I've been playing with his hair lately. Okay. Well, it's fine. It's just something anything. I think you're self-conscious of it. Okay, where's uh, his room? It's upstairs mm-hmm. on the left. Okay, all right. Okay, let's go. Quiz. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Tommy, oh, I'm gonna open the door. I hear a noise in there. Hi, Tommy. Holy! Uh, my name is Parker. I'm friends with your mom. He is pale. Why didn't we here to talk to you to make sure you're okay? Oh. Are you feeling all right? Your mom's uh, been worried about the way you've been acting. Tommy, do you think you could turn around so we could talk face to face? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. It does creepy. What is wrong with his face? If you want to talk more, Chester and I will be here all night. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, he's gonna go get out, get out, get out. Dude, did you see his face? What was that? Yeah, I saw I know, I think that's his mask. <coughs> Why is he wearing a mask? I have no idea. It could be some sort of grieving thing after his dad passed. How could that be a grieving thing? That's Dude, what I said. I, I mean, we came here to set up cameras, so why don't we just start setting them up? Dude, I'm afraid to see what this guy even does at night. Bro, let's just set up the cameras. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Tommy just went to the bathroom. Let's go for camera on his phone. Oh, dude, it smells so bad in here. Yeah. No. What? What is this? What? Dude, what is that black meat? Meat or something here. What is that? Dude, what's the problem? Dude, just moved. Huh? The meat just moved, bro. What are you talking about? Let's just go. Set the camera. Oh my god, that was scary as hell. Okay, let's get camera and Candace's room. Right? Hi, uh, Candace, can we put a camera in your room? Bro, when we were talking to Tommy, I got a really bad feeling. Yeah, I have a bad... Yeah. I know it was creepy, but we really don't know what he might be going through. I just feel like he doesn't want us in this house. Bro, he feels safe sleeping here. Yeah, and neither does Candace, and that's her own son. That's why we're here. Dude, let's just go to sleep, okay? We'll watch your footage in the morning. Yeah, okay. Okay. Go to sleep. God, he is creep. What are you doing, Tommy? Whoa, what? Tommy, are you all right? Whoa, he just got so tall. You're grabbing that meat? Oh my, what is wrong with you? Oh, he is. Oh. Oh, God. His hands are so long. Ooh. 
Oh god, he is creepy. What what is he doing? Is the is that the beat? Oh, he is loved. Oh, God, he sees the camera. 7 18 a.m. Okay, so it's about 7 a.m. right now. We just woke up. Dude, did you hear anything last night? No, I slept like a baby. Why? I don't know. Maybe I had a weird dream. Okay, well, can you go wake up Candace? I'll go set up the footage so we can watch it. All right, I'll go with the one. Candace, it's time to wake up. Come in. Uh, hello? Candace. Oh, God. Are, are you okay? No, it's Chester. Uh, we need to get up. It's, it's morning. What the heck? Parker! Parker! What's the problem? Dude! Candace, look! What's wrong? Her legs aren't working! Candace! Candace, are you There's okay? There's something wrong with her, dude! This is black mark on her back! Are you okay? I don't know. I'm fine. Okay, let's, let's get you up, okay? Okay. Bro, what's wrong with her? <laughs> okay, so let's look at this footage from last night. Okay, so it looks like Tommy wasn't sleeping much at all. He's very Oh my gosh, he's coming into my room. <laughs> oh my god, what's he doing to you? That's your spine. I don't know what's going on. Candace, look what he did to you. This isn't normal. We need to call the police. No, no, no. Yeah, yes, you need to call the police. Okay, well, if you don't want to call the police, Chester and I need to go talk to him right now. No, he rests at this time. Yo, we gotta talk now, bro. Okay, let's go. Talk. Yeah, but yeah. No kidding. Bro, what the hell did we just watch? Why does she want to call the police? Dude. I don't know. That was horrifying. It looked like he was sucking your spinal fluid out, like a mosquito or something. Did you see the way he was walking? I think he grew more last night. Which is, which is, yeah, because he did grow. We definitely missed it. Bro, come on. We're staying. We don't have a choice. Okay. Yeah, I was, I'm a, I was Chester. Okay, Candace. So uh, we saw some pretty awful things last night. I mean, I don't know what to do here. Are you sure we can't just call the police? No, no. They won't understand them. Oh, yes, they will. Okay, uh, Maybe they should take it to away. I'm going to put this chair here against your door handle in case he tries to get in again. There's no way he's going to be able to get through this. Yeah, good. Okay, so we're all set now. If he tries to come in again, Chester and I are going to be right in the other room. Try to get some sleep, okay? We'll watch it for in the morning. I understand that, but right now I need to worry about you too. Okay, try to get some sleep, all right? We'll talk in the morning. Okay, good night. How are they going to get out? Bro, you can't tell me you feel safe sleeping here tonight. What if he comes into our room? All right, look, obviously I'm not comfortable with this, but what are the other options? We can leave. Yeah. Dude, let's just record tonight to see what this guy's doing. It's definitely too unsafe to leave Candace alone. All right, no kidding. The second I hear anything, I'm leaving. Okay, whatever. Let's just go back. Okay, whatever. Night number two. Oh, 
Oh, I'm surprised they even managed to even get the chair in her door. God, I'm pretty terrified by this. Look at the camera again. Oh my God. That was scary. Oh God. Whoa. What the heck's going on? Stop! You're shaking the camera. Cops. We drove home and contacted Kansas sister on Facebook. Oh, I want to go. Where's her Facebook? I want to go follow her. We told her Tommy took his mom and we couldn't find them. She told us that Candace told her Tommy died a year ago. Then who was that? Whoa, whoa, wait, she lied. 